Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Time to discuss part four of the limits at infinity uh, horizontal asymptotes example series. You can see the previous parts in the description below in the related videos uh, section. Uh, basically, I'm going to go over these three examples uh, for today. And let's uh, start off with example one, which just states limit as x approaches negative infinity of e to the x. Okay, so I'll just uh, put that down right here, this one right here, and let's go over this uh, example. So uh, this one is just a power function, uh, but this is an exponential function. We're using e to the x. Now, uh, now as you approach negative, negative infinity, uh, just notice what happens here. For example, let's say e to the, uh, let's go e to the negative 10. This, because we have a negative sign right here, you could it basically put it upside down. So you're gonna have uh, one divided by e to the 10 right here. So that's what this negative, uh, negative means right here. You can see more in the power functions in the video link below. But basically you're gonna have something like this and this is, this is a large number. And as you can see, this is a large number. You can, so you're approaching basically zero. And if you have, let's say, e to the 100,000, or, or you're just 1,000, this again is equal to 1 over e to the 1,000. And this is approaching basically almost 0. So the limit of this one, this is just 0 right here. And the function, yeah, the function uh, looks something like this over here. I graphed it with Google Graphing Calculator. As you can see, it goes up really, uh, it goes basically infinity up here. But as you go to negative infinity, it's approaching zero, and there is the the y equals zero horizontal asymptote right here at this uh, value right here. So that is what this limit is. So now let's look at uh, this function right here. Limit as x approaches zero from the left side of e to the power of one divided by x. Yeah. So now if we look at uh, this example two right here, uh, to solve this we could actually uh, do something quite clever. My calculus book has it's uh, they call it introducing something uh, new or something different. So what we could do is just let this variable t equal to uh, yeah equal to one over x right here. So now we know that as x approaches zero from the left side, so of this one, if you're approaching zero from the left side, this is gonna be well less than zero or negative, and one divided by a really small number but negative, this is gonna be well, uh, you're gonna have, you're gonna basically have, yeah, I'm gonna put a comma, you're, ba you're basically gonna have t approaching uh, negative infinity right here, because you're gonna have, because uh, as you're approaching zero from the left side uh, in terms of x right here, one divided by, well, zero is infinity, but from the left side, from the negative side, you're approaching negative infinity right here. So we have this right here. So we could write this limit, the same limit as above, but write it in terms of t. So we have t negative infinity, because it's the same thing as x. And now we're gonna have e to the t. And this is the exact same uh, exponential function right here, e to the x equals to uh, zero. So limit as x approaches is a negative infinity of e to the x, but now we just switch it with t. So this just equals to zero as an example one, and this is the exact same thing as this, thus this is basically zero. Yeah, so all we did was change a variable and follow the variable based on, uh, well, we just change everything uh, to that variable to something we know. And this is the answer right here. And now let's look at the final uh, example, example three, find the limit as x approaches infinity of sine of x. Yeah, so now if we look at this function, we'll notice that as you approach infinity or negative infinity or whatever, sine function, its nature is, is just that it oscillates up and down. Yeah, and if you were to graph sine function, it looks something like, like this. It goes up and down, up and down, uh, where the, the, the highest is one, and then it goes to negative one, right? It's a rough sketch. And it, it never gets closer to anything. It just keeps going up and down. So then basically, as you're going to infinity, you're also in between uh, up a uh, negative uh, one and one or in, in between these values. Thus, this does not exist. So this limit uh, does not exist. Yeah, it does not exist because it does not approach any uh, any limit or any number. So this does not exist. And that's just a quick example on on one functions on one basically when they don't have horizontal uh, asymptotes and like in this case well uh, that's all for today remember you could always uh, download these notes in the dropbox link below so uh yeah stay tuned for another math easy solution